new glasses. I don't know how I'm going to react with them because it seems to be blocking too much of the vision of my eyes. But anyhow, Mirai Nikki, episode 25, the pre-finale review. Oh my gosh, what an episode that was. I can't believe I've done these reviews, but that shows you, without a doubt, quite transparently, you know, how much this anime has sucked me in. To have me that fascinated to want to do reviews episode by episode. S since like episode, what, 20, 21 or something? 21, I think. That's pretty impressive. But anyhow, let's get into the massive spoilers. So, picking up, you know, kills her returning father. And then that could potentially lead to something. That could potentially lead to something. Because who knows what ripple effects that will cause. Because it was seen by others, and that kind of a just stabbing petrified them as they ran away from the scene. So that could have a ripple effect. Um, you know, she could get whatever. I don't know. <clears throat> but that that's certainly different from the other world lines. But... Let's continue on. Yuno locks Yuki into his ideal world, which he apparently gave into or lost the mind battle at some point. But even so, he still is in pain over slight memory. He was absolutely treated like dirt by Yuno. Her just trapping him in that, despite him caring about her and loving her. And wanting to save her and her being desperate to keep things perpetually in loop or else the world ends I don't know I don't know how this is all gonna get fixed I don't know and then at the end there I think it was you know yeah I, I am different sure it was you know just about to kill off herself and start uh, posing as the real her yet again in this world line when Yuki wanted to, uh, you know, to return to the second world line and win that to somehow fix things. I, th I think that's what it was, which is kind of confusing. I, I don't know how things are going to get fixed. I don't know how he thinks things were going to get fixed if that's what he said, to want her to win. Even if he wins somehow, I don't know how he's going to fix things. And then where do things get won? Are things going to get won in this world line? or the other world lines, or whatever the case. Oh my goodness. How are things going to get fixed? Then, you know, this, this is just as good as I thought the series was. This is just all icing on the cake. Even though we still got the finale, but this was just icing on the cake. My gosh. The action-packed brawl. <laughs> Just, oh my goodness, the ninth wrecking little murmur, then murmurs true power being unleashed, and just a whole different herb, just bonkers, just <laughs> and so murmur then just absolutely overpowers the ninth, and I guess kills her off. And then, you know, holding her off the side of the building, you know, in the wind or whatever, with her cape or whatever, dark cape, really good art style. I'll get to that though too. But and she just somebody drops her like a like a piece of garbage, like a candy wrapper, just throws her off. Just let's go over off the side of the building. Plops to the ground, 
My goodness. Another thing to highlight in this is the what I see as like a perception that the what how they were portraying it it's like the 12 diary owners are gonna unite onto the scene they're all aware something's going on something's up and I think they're all gonna unite at the scene where you know is at um, I think that would be really epic of a finale oh my goodness if the first half of the show or the finale if the first half was all them just going all out against her and murmur oh my goodness all of them versus them wow that would be what would that be two versus eleven two versus eleven my gosh that would be good goodness 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 ah, hype's real hype is real but anyhow the twelve you know they, they all seem to be aware something's going on and they all spotted the scene whatever in the town so I think they're all going to unite under one banner to take you know down this series this series this series is just icing on the cake maybe since I started doing the reviews I, I think it was because I wasn't expecting that and none of this none of this None of this where it went. This has been all icing on the cake for the final fifth of the season. That's a really good thing. That is very impressive, good, brilliant, awesome writing. Very, very good. But how would they end it off is the thing. How would they end it off? Hmm. The time has come. That finale is here, which I'm going to do next, but, and also, not only that finale coming up, but them reactions that need to be seen by me so badly, oh my goodness, oh it's killing me not to see re reactions, but I can't get it spoiled, I refuse to get it spoiled, um, you know, whatever part way through whatever episodes they were at that point I wanted to see my own reactions I, I've seen some of my own reactions to the big moments but not all but it's it's still oh man this series how this is, uh, I, I get to it just a bit under but how is all how is it all going to get fixed who will win in this third world line? If it stays in this third world line, will Yuno know, live? Will Yuki live? Will they return to the second world line? Who would win there? Would they return to the original world line somehow? Who would win there? Um, if somebody won and wished for this whole survival game thing to cease or loop to cease or everyone to get a happy end or whatever the case or or if if you know one and wished for a happy ending for Yuki or Yuki one and wished for a happy ending for you know or if some other of the tw uh, well 11 or whatever the case in that world line if they all defeat her and then they all take each other out I don't think there's the time for that but if they do that and another third party of them wins, how are they supposed to have the perception of what to wish for to have everything stop? But if they defeat, you know, she can't keep going back. She has to she has to survive. That was something that was also highlighted that they that I didn't take notes of. That I didn't take notes on. It's so critical. She has to repeat things very very similar so that she does keep surviving the route she took she survived so she could survive again even though she did slight changes the second time around this will be the third time around so she'll have to do things very similar and stay alive my goodness that would be terrifying absolutely terrifying but the thing is 
with this 25th episode of Murai Nikki. It, you know, in the sense that everything's haywire yet, and they need to be fixed, and there, there's got to be some way to fix them. It reminded me of Steins Gate episode 23. And that is a very good thing. Um, one brief topic, you know, the, you know, change in art style for you know, essentially, I don't think I've mentioned, and the art style of you know and murmur, or muru muru, whatever the case, whatever, mu mu, what, whatever, whatever, but, she's a murmur, but whatever, the, the art style, it, it's, just slight change but just good enough to make it to make the heavy point that they are the heels they are the bad guys they are the bad guys it's a dark thing it's a dark thing and it identifies them as a team I don't know if Murmur had it before or if she just got it or what but later on here I don't know but you know having it as well it, it looks so good it looks good very good part of her art style as a heel um, the cape just flowing in the wind it, it it's it's dark it's dark and it contributes that to her character and her being a heel right now very good idea to use that as something visually representative of you know I guess her state or whatever the case you want to say um, her being the bad guy right now and Yuki being the good guy wanting to save her so the finale can Yuki fix everything will Yuki fix everything There's already all that stuff that can't be undone, and yet, in this world line, uh, certain things haven't happened yet, because we're at the start of it, or before the start of it, whatever the case, the survival game. But will Yuno kill herself off again in this third timeline and perpetually live on with Yuki? Or... What I suspect is going to happen. I was wrong. I was so wrong. They have done this. That's another thing that I have to give them absolute props for. I, you know, when I guessed this or that, and when they portrayed it this, I took the bait and I, I thought I was right on this, and I thought, you know, I could just kind of, you know, in a sense, kind of speculate all the routes, but sure enough they make you look here and then they have the real one to be revealed here it is a brilliant how they did that with her identity type thing and other things but I'm losing track so will she perpetually live on with Yuki repeating things again and again and again and again and again and again or what I suspect is going to happen before I went on that small spiel or will all the other future diary owners team up against her in an all out war in the finale I think you know I don't know. I, I keep not guessing where it's going to go correctly. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. It's very unique. Very, very unique and very good to not be able to guess where it's going to go. That's very good. Very good. I like that. I very much like that. I like being wrong. It's very good. Because then it's like, oh. But even if you're right, it's like, oh, you're, you're right. Yeah. But anyhow, I think all the other diary owners are going to team up and go up against her in an all-out war, defeat her, 
in the first half of the episode. The second half of the episode, we get the actual conclusion to things and how it ends off. Hopefully good. Uh, I don't know how that's going to happen. But... Well, they could kill that one off and the real one could live. I didn't think about that. Hmm. They could kill the other timeline her and keep the this timeline her. I, I'm, I'm lost on it. it. It's a good thing. I don't know what they're going to do. But we're about to find out whether or not, if I have to wear my other glasses or not, I will if I have to, if the glare is too weird and in the way. I hate that, dang it, that's so stupid. Failed getting contacts. Too terrified to toss them in my eye, but anyhow. We're about to find out if I am right on the finale or not. I'm probably wrong. They're, they're, I, I would bet that I'm wrong. Uh, because they portrayed things before and I, they, I took the bait and I was wrong. It's going to be very interesting. We are about to find out who wins the survival game. Even though it already was won before. But anyhow, I don't want to ramble anymore. It's been good review as is. Mirai Nikki, the finale, has at long last arrived. Absolutely pumped for the conclusion to the survival game ah didn't want it to end but it's gonna end but it's very much necessary we need this one to be done to get to a hundred subs I think this series is the key to us getting to that 100 so we will get her out there so, I will see you up ahead. Thank you very much for listening. I will, uh, I just said that. Watch. Of course, I have to add something in between, and then I default back to it. <laughs> Botchamania, brother. Oh, yeah. Hulk Hogan and, uh, the other guy. What was the other guy? What was the other guy? Come on. Come on. I did his voice. Yeah, he was that one guy that died that one year. I don't... Uh, now I feel bad that I don't remember his name. Macho Man Randy Savage, I think. Yeah, he would go, Oh yeah! Stuff like that, I think. That must have been way back. But anyhow, that was a wrestling kind of trivia thing. Uh, why am I rambling on about that in a anime review? You never know what you're going to get with a cool guy for you. No, you don't. You just never know. <sighs> anyhow, I hope to make it one heck of a reaction this whole thing I hope it's been one heck of a great reaction you the viewers are the judge of that though not me I think it's been one heck of a reaction but you viewers are the judge of that and I will see you up ahead take her cool <laughs>